and this here was Soros rule it's actually simple you just you know like if it's a three by three matrix you just repeat the second two columns next to that matrix and then you go diagonals so like one times one times two plus two times four times five plus three times minus two times one and then minus and then you take the other three diagonals each diagonal containing three elements and so five times one times three, one times four times one, and two times minus two times two, and you would get 25. And then when we applied that on the cross product. What, what was the second, what was that second column by the way? Uh, which column? The second, the second thing in red. You, oh, you repeat, you repeat, columns, you repeat right. the first two columns of the blue matrix. Right. You, you, you repeat these two columns here. This. Uh, yeah, and this, you repeat them side to that three by three matrix. Right. There's a, there's a thing on, on my screen. It says this computer is using an outdated version of TPR. Click here to update it. Oh, my yeah. computer or yours? Uh, yours. It wanted it, it has it wanted me to like remotely update your computer. No, I'll update it later. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Uh, so you see how I lined up the matrices and then I just you know go diagonal by diagonal from the left to the right it's addition minus uh, from right to left and you subtract yeah. from right to left from left to right and that gets you the determinant and you can apply that on the cross product and so you'd repeat these two columns just like we did above and you would go you know the X component, AY times BZ minus AZ times BY. Uh, then, you know, the second diagonal, the third, and then minus the green ones. And then I collected the terms and you get exactly the answer that's in Griffith's equation 114, the cross product of A cross B would get you this final result here. Okay. So you multiply the elements that are on the same diagonal and then you add it to the second diagonal then the third diagonal Let's that's see. for the three diagonals going from left to right and then minus then you take the components of the diagonals going from right to left starting from the bottom left to the upper right, so you get like bx ay z I see. minus I see. the other diagonal minus the other diagonal, and then you collect the terms and you get the answer for the cross product. This is called the uh, Serer's rule. I mean, you know, it's just an elementary way of finding the determinant of a matrix. Yeah. Okay. All right. What was the other thing that you were that you were showing me? Yeah, the other thing I was showing you is the more general way of doing this. Uh, and that is, uh, if you have two matrices, A and B, okay, and you're trying to find the cross product, r regardless of how large A and B is, like this could be an N by N. This is the beauty of this method, is it doesn't matter how, how big the matrix is. And let's say that this is n by n, okay? And you're trying to find the cross product between them. Well, the ith component of this cross product will just be the summation of this uh, uh, this symbol. They call it the uh, uh, I forgot the name. I J K. I'll tell you what it is in a second. Doesn't matter what the name is. Right? You said it was the delta something. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not the delta. This is uh, 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 this is uh, I forgot the name. Do doesn't matter. Uh, and then times a j uh, b k. And uh, what this symbol means? It's a permutation uh, such that it would equal to one 
okay if uh, they're all different if I does not equal to J does not equal to K and it would be minus 1 now uh, assuming that you go you know what a cyclic permutation is right assuming that this is an even permutation meaning you're going clockwise on this uh, three symbol thing so if you're going clockwise it's plus one if you're going counterclockwise so this is for an even permutation and if it's minus one if I does not equal to J does not equal to K this is for an odd permutation meaning if you are going like J K I this would be counterclockwise and it would equal zero if any of the two are equal if I equal J or I equal K or J equal K if any meaning if any of the two are equal you would get zero and here of course you are summing on J and K this summation goes over J and K so if I apply this on the on the matrix uh, two, three by three if I apply this on the above matrix then you could see a cross B in the X direction right or in the I direction uh, so this would be and then you know just take all the permutations and the only ones that will survive right J and K well you know you know that you're doing an I so this is gonna be uh, a X so in this case uh, this will be uh, no the a, uh, J will be Y right and K will be Z right because I is X and so this will be a J a Y B Z right and you're doing X Y Z so this would be a 1 minus 1 because now we're doing the other permutation now we're going uh, a Z B Y so you're going K J and that's going counterclockwise so that's where this minus one came from this is the value of that E symbol and this here is the I component of the cross product and then I could do the same thing for the Y component right this is going to be again one if I'm going clockwise and now summing over j and k so if this is y then uh, on this stroke this would be x and this would be z so this would be a x b z minus one because now you're going counterclockwise this is an odd permutation times a z b y and this would be the y component of the cross product and the third one a cross b and the z and now on this stroke if this is the Z component then uh, this would be the X and this would be the Y so when you go the even permutation the symbol will be 1 and then you'll get a X uh, a X B Y right minus uh, minus uh, a y bx minus one because now that you're going an odd permutation so it'll be minus one so this would be the z component so the, these are the three components of the z product uh, of the cross product let's compare them what do we have a y b z a z b y a z b x oh i i flipped it here this is plus one and this would be a minus one because now the first one would be the uh, odd permutation, right? Because you're going i, j, k. So y is, is, is your i, right? So you have to switch it. And then uh, on the third permutation, a, x, b, y minus a, y, b, x. a, y, b, x, sorry, this is supposed to be an x. Yeah, so, you know, of course you get the same answer. And this is much more general. And you can see how quick it is. It gets you all three components in one stroke.
uh, this is all by using this. Hmm? Questions on that? Uh, digest that, I guess. Oops, what happened? Oh, uh, your screen blacked out again? Uh, no. 